chances will remain rather high throughout the first part of the week. Four areas to watch in the tropics. Two areas have rather high chances of developing over the next few days here. You can see one, and, and this is one of the reasons why uh, we kind of saw the active weather this weekend, the upper level disturbance I was just talking about. That low pressure system is going to head into with the southeastern uh, uh, seaboard there and then eventually develop potentially as we get into the next couple of days. This will not be a threat for us, even though it's close to the United States, it's going to head out into the Atlantic and it will be become a storm for the fish, ideally. So not really much of an issue for us. Uh, we are still watching out for three other disturbances, though, still further out in the Atlantic one particular disturbance closer to the Windward Islands got a bit or better organized today, had a little bit of his act together today. So uh, we have a better chance for that storm to develop into a system over the next few days. That's definitely one to keep our eye on. But then the two right behind it there has still low chances of development over the next couple of days, but it could head into more favorable environments as we get into towards the end of the week, really. And we could see some potential development by them. So the tropics are active. Our weather here locally is active. We'll see rain chances all the way into the weekend with temperatures staying in the low 90s.